Welcome back to now the seventh episode of Talk It Up with Taylor. Welcome back. You made it to yet another episode of Talk It Up with Taylor. And if you haven't heard by now, my name is Taylor Gatoni. Um, so this one I want to start it off with how I started another podcast a while back. I'm not going to say the name, but I started going with it. It was about sports when I wanted to become a sports reporter. And we carried through for about five episodes and then we just stopped. And so now that we're on the seventh episode, what I forgot to mention in the past one was how exciting it is that we're keeping it going and we're making it past the fifth. We made it past the sixth. Here we are, the seventh episode. Um, So this one really is just going to talk about being in a funk. Last week we talked about how it was kind of an overwhelming week and how we were all like, all right, let's hit the brakes for a bit and just pause. Part of it being a rough week, obviously I was calling my friends, telling them what was going on, and then having a few mental breakdowns to a few people. It is what it is. Again, we went through all of those tissues, whether that was from the allergies or just a few tears falling out of the eyes. That was that. Uh, But I called one of my friends and she goes, I need to know if Mercury is in retrograde. And some of you right now might be like, oh god we're gonna get all spiritual in that sense but no, no, no she looked it up and she's like i've been going through a funk my other friend has been going through a funk and then i'm over here like yes i've also been hearing people being in a funk and i myself have been going through a funk and she was like you know what mercury is in fact in retrograde and we were both like makes sense but i feel like everyone has because i was out last week just outside drawing with chalk on the sidewalk with some little kids some neighborhood kids and i was talking with the parents with my neighbor and we're like it's so great to see people outside smiling engaging with their neighbors engaging or interacting with people that they come across because before we were all again cooped up inside whether that was from covid or the winter don't like the cold so of course i'm going to stay indoors But now you see people coming out, they're doing things, they're happy, and so everyone slowly seems to be coming out of this funk, if you want to call it that. I'm going to put a side note real quick. You probably just see this like slash coming through my body. (laughs) The lighting's off because Fergie decided to tear another hole in the blinds. You have her to thank for that. So she is, I wish you could see, she's under the chair right now. But if I move the phone, then everything's going to have to be reorganized and that's a whole, whole thing. This episode more so ties into the last two weeks episode with being overwhelmed. I talked about isolation and how that kind of changes who you are as an individual. You resonating with your own thoughts and trying to work through it by yourself. Maybe asking someone else, hey, am I crazy? Am I being reasonable with this? What does this mean? And also trying not to look into it too much so you're also not driving yourself crazy. It's this weird yin yang balance, again, that we mentioned, that you kind of got to have in life, which is tricky. It's like, it's like a Rubik's cube, but somehow even harder. Obviously, being in a funk looks different for everyone. I noticed mine was more so during the winter when I go through that whole seasonal depression type of deal. But also just being in this new schedule, how I was having to learn how to overcome and, you know, reevaluate my routine and get into this new routine of, okay, you're waking up at three something in the morning, you're going to work. Then you're coming home, sun's still up, and you got to figure out how to keep going and just readjust to life, your new routine. Um, So something that was hard when I first got going, and I think it's also difficult because I'm so, ah, all the time. Maybe not all the time, but I I try to have that positive energy. And then when you get home, as I talked about, you're just kind of like, oh my gosh, let me unwind. Let me figure out what I want to do with myself for the rest of the day to kind of unwind, unpack everything I just went through. And one of the things in that isolation when I would come home, it was hard for me to eat, it was hard for me to sleep, and it was just hard for me to get out in the community and engage with other people, make those friends, because I just felt so worn down all the time. And it's not just me I know that goes through this, this is why I want to share it, because it's not some, oh, Taylor's pity party, no, 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 no. This is more of like a relating thing, how I, these conversations I've had with my friends And even they are saying, you know, I was in this tough spot. It's really hard for me to get out of it. And I just feel like everyone's in this funk. And this is something that I just want to yank everybody out of it. Because experiencing it myself, I don't like being in that funk. And I know no one likes being in the funk. And I just noticed when I wasn't eating or sleeping at this maybe not regular schedule, but what was becoming my normal, 
is I got more cranky and I was like, why am I angry all the time? I'm getting angry at all these little things. And whether that was from someone crossing a boundary, which I did end up confronting a friend the other day, <laughs> which is very unlike me. I don't like having those confrontations. I don't, I just, some things addressing it, I'm like, it's better not. But this was one where I was like, I value our friendship. Let's get this out of the way. And I was like, wow, we did it. We did something that we used to be so afraid of. And so right now in my life, at this point, who knows, it'll change. But at this point, I feel like I'm kind of getting back into the flow of things or I'm starting a new flow of things. And I feel like other people are also going through this weird shift of, okay, I was in this kind of down state. I was on autopilot. I was in this daze of, I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of my friends are also feeling that way right now. We're also kind of just panicking with whatever's going on. I think one of the other things that inspired me to start Talk It Up and to continue with it is how it's not just you who's going through something. I feel like everyone all the time, and I, I'm guilty of this, I'm like, oh, I'm going through this, I'm going through that, this thing happened to me, and instead of looking at it in a positive light, which again, I know can be difficult, it gives you that chance, that opportunity to relate to other people and hey, this is how I'm feeling, this is what I went through, did you go through the same thing, how did you go about it? And so we're kind of able to work together and share these ideas, how we can get through life together, that you're not the only person going through this, which doesn't take away from how you're feeling, but at the same time, it kind of, how do I want to word this? But you're not the only one going through it. There are other people. Through my work, I've learned that I really enjoy talking about mental health. I really like the whole psychology. How does the mind work? How does the body work? So a little human bio as well. And I like seeing how everything kind of functions and goes from one thing to the other and how it all just connects. I really like that connection. So I feel like as people too, we also have this connection from one person to the other. Again, it's that whole domino effect or butterfly effect type of deal. Um, Fergie, you wanna know, say hello? Here she is! Oh! You want down. Okay, she's going down. She's been shedding like crazy. Not helping with the allergies. But yeah, with this warmer weather, obviously Fergie's shedding from it. But I also feel like that seasonal depression is going away. You have the sun kind of making you happier. It's also kind of draining in a way from the heat, but we'll take it. You're able to get outside more, and I feel like I'm working out more. I'm eating healthier. I don't know. Like, a, it's not just salads, though. <laughs> like, I'm trying to go for a whole variety of things just to gain more nutrition. I said I lost some weight because I wasn't on that eating schedule. So yeah, that was a little concerning, but now we're in this place where we're like, okay, Taylor, let's get it together. We're gonna improve on ourselves. We're gonna better ourselves because we care. And I'm gonna bring up COVID again. I know this is something we're all sick of and I'm sick of it too, but coming out of it, and I guess we're still kind of in it again. I talk about this almost every episode, but moving past it, is the whole mental health aspect. That's something I'm actually really grateful about the whole pandemic, the lockdown, COVID, is how more people started seeing how their mentality was affecting them. And so May is Mental Health Month, okay? Mental Awareness Month. I think we're all aware on this, but let's take care of ourselves, not just physically getting back into shape, getting your summer bodies, whatever. Focusing in on your mental health and trying to improve it. Not only when I'm talking to my friends, I'm talking to my family, I'm talking to other coworkers or whatever. We're all talking about how we just feel drained, we're burnt out and our whole mindset, it's always coming out and getting into a better mindset. One of the things I've really worked on over the past year was learning how to relax as a person. I've told you guys I'm a very go, go, go and everything has to be done and I have to, if I don't have something going on, it's like I have to add something to the list to get it done, that way I feel productive. And it's like, no, 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 you can relax, you can watch some TV, you can write, you can just stare out your window and take in this world. Just relax for a second. You've already done so much. And I think that's one of the hardest things that we, especially in America, are such a go, go, go society. And I keep saying these words, no, 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 go, go, go. Really emphasize it. But we really are on the go all the time and I think it's hard for people, especially when we're so work driven and we want to be successful and we want to achieve all these great things and we all have to compare who's better, who's gone further in life and 
I, all the comparisons, all the judgment, all the insecurities, which we'll touch more on. I just want everyone to let it go for a second. Because again, May is mental health month. I think we all need to sit with our brains for a second and understand how we're feeling. Think about and be honest with ourselves how we're feeling. A few of the things that helped me when I was coming out of that whole not so great work week. I just wasn't happy with the work that I was doing. I was tired, I was getting frustrated which you're gonna have those weeks. And then of course, the following week when I talked about being overwhelmed, well, the rest of that week was pretty good. No complaints right there. Um, so you're gonna have that every now and then, which I know people are like, yeah, you're gonna have your days. You are going to have your days. A few of the things that have helped me kind of get out of that whole, oh, I'm feeling down. It was a great day out. The sun was shining, it was warm. I love getting my little tan on. So I set my hammock up. I brought out a book, I brought out my journal, I put some plants out there, and it was a whole thing. I made it a whole self-care day because I was like, we're gonna relax and enjoy this for a second. I don't know how long ago I heard this and I don't remember the name, I don't remember word for word, but it went something along the lines of, especially when you have those jam-packed days when you're doing so much. That is exactly when you want to amp up the self-care because you're going through a lot, so you need to balance it out again. This whole episode should be about balancing. It's a whole balancing act, but really we're talking about being in that funk and coming out of it. I also think the whole weather again depends on how you associate certain things to it. So obviously when it's sunny out, you smell the bonfires, you see the sun, you see the flowers blooming. I have a whole list, hold on. The brightness and colors, the happiness, that just all in all lifts up your spirit. So try to find those little things in life. I don't know, I was talking about eating healthier. I bought some frozen fruits and I was like, we're gonna have a smoothie. We're gonna work on eating healthier in these fun ways. Just find little ways to make life more fun and enjoyable. You don't always have to look forward to a concert or a festival or some other exciting thing coming up. I mean, we're almost halfway done with this year and I feel like it's flown by on top of, I'm looking at the rest of the year already and I'm like, wow, I seem to be booked up almost every single weekend. <laughs> How did that happen? And we are just putting so much on our plate. Even one of my professors back in the day, he's like, Taylor, I appreciate how driven you are, but you really do put too much on your plate and I fear that's taking away from the other things that you're trying to put your energy toward. And I was like, wow, I've never had anyone tell me that before because you know, my parents, my dad especially, he's a very driven person and he's always like, get after it, make it happen, get this done so you can succeed, you can be successful. And you don't always have to do that all the time. <laughs> In fact, it's better if you take things off the plate. When I'm looking over at my whiteboard and I have all these to-do things, if I can cross off a few and be like, we can get to this later, maybe not procrastinate it so much, but at least ease up our workload so that we can enjoy the things and actually put some energy towards it so we can make it as good as it can be. We're gonna wrap it up here by tying into one of the previous episodes. How I said, adults, we are sorry. Because as children, you know, you come home from school and no matter what, children just have so much energy. So when their parents get home from work and they're all like, oh my God, mom or dad, you're home. Hang out with me, give me attention. Let's do this, let's talk about this. And the parents are like, I just walked through the door. I'm gonna go sit on the couch, watch TV for a bit, and then we can chat. And I feel like as a kid, it's hard to understand that they do need a second. They need to breathe <laughs> and function before they just keep doing all the strenuous activities or overdoing it. So even when I see my dad come home and he's sitting on the couch watching TV, I'm like, good for you. Good for you that you're telling everyone else to hold on a second, let me be me, and then I'll come to you. And I think that's all what we all need to do is not be afraid to tell people I need a second to myself. Um, as a people pleaser, <laughs> I realized how much energy I try to put towards others and then I think about it at the end of the day and go, what did I do for myself? So that's the question I'm gonna throw your guys' way for this week is what can you do this week for yourself that's going to improve your mental health, make you feel better as a person and just relax. Okay, that's how we're gonna wrap it up. Um, coming up, ooh, we just moved the camera. 
But coming up, we did talk about bringing on guests. I've talked to probably a handful of people. They're excited, so we're gonna start planning this out when I'm gonna record the episodes with them. But I am excited to actually get some friendly faces on here and keep sharing those ideas. On top of, I'm gonna bring up McKay again. McKay was the one who put together that piece of art, that logo, that was super cool. And he was telling me, he's like, why don't you put this on Spotify? That's a great question, McKay. Because I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. But he's going to help me out and a few other people are going to help me out and get this onto more platforms. Obviously, Spotify is going to be great if you're on your morning drives and you're like, Taylor, I can't watch you right now or I can't do this. Totally fine. <laughs> you guys can do whatever you want with this. But I hope that it helps. It's something that you can relate to. And again, interact with the website. We're going to bring it up now. That is Taylor. Whoop. No, it's not. We're just jumping right to the name. It is talkitupwtaylor.weebly.com. And go interact. Give me all of those ideas that you're thinking of. If there's something going on in this world or you personally that you feel like maybe you personally don't want to talk about it, but you just want me to talk about it and get it out there or bring someone else on to talk about it, go for it. I'm all ears. So there we go. Okay, go enjoy the sun relax, do whatever you feel is going to bring you peace. <laughs> but yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, having too much on my plate, I may or may not see you guys for next week's episode. And if I don't have something come out next week, I will for sure see you the following week. So stay tuned, go to the website. Um, we have the updates page on there. So that's where you're going to see any updates to talk it up. And whatever you have going on this week, I hope you conquer it. So thank you for listening to the seventh episode of Talk It Up with Taylor. And I'll see you on the next one.